Eman fan. Check out his channel. Hello. He's called Eman fan. Yeah, we have this. Maybe a light text. I don't know. I don't. It might be a light text going to switch housing. You yeah. think? Or? I mean, do white text fans usually say white text on top of them, or? Um, honestly, I don't know. I oh, well, I just don't know. I haven't really seen too many up close. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've had this down here for how long now? Um... Oh, I don't even remember. I don't even remember where it came from, where I found it. <laughs> Probably uh, at least six months, I'd say. Oh wow. Well, yeah. I... Actually, I'll just do it on high, just to make it quicker. It has something hitting it above the. But... I kind of like that the blades are a little bit droopy. It kind of gives it more... I feel like, for some reason, when I see a fan in a basement, I feel like if it's a hugger fan, it has droopy-ish looking blades like this. Not super droopy, but a little bit. It gives yeah. it more of like a basement, like an older basement look and such. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like that low profile in your dad's living room and such. Right, right. I don't know, it's good air. You know what I think I might have got... I acquired this was um when I got that... um. What is that kid? Is it a moss or whatever it is? That really ornate fan up in New Hampshire, and there was a, and it was the other one too. Uh, the other there was the polished brass moss I had in my car, hmm. and then there was maybe it was KDK. I don't remember what it was. The white KDK or something. No, it's not white. It's uh, it's kind of like a polished brass. Oh, the one that you sold me a while back. No, no. Um, KDK. Oh, the Lancelot one, I think. I don't know. Might be. It's like really ornate and has uh, those like. You know, uh, I don't even know what yeah. I described. And uh, I know there were a couple of fans. I think this might have been the third one. See, like, honestly, like, if you were to put a fan in a kitchen, this would honestly look really cool in there, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's got the cane blaze, just kind of that old, like, homey kind of look. And you wouldn't even need to put a light on it because you already have enough lighting in the kitchen, anyways. Yeah. It's just how would you mount it with. I mean, you could probably do it, it's just it would it would definitely be a fan that Dan would put on his fans in unexpected places yeah. thing. Right, right. Since would they use it in the kitchen, that's just it. Uh, right. Plus, would you really want to cut a hole just to put that with that type of tiling? It's like, you, I don't think you'd want to cut it. Yeah, I'd have to mount it on some kind of a down rod and then just kind of put, put it up towards, uh, yeah. you know, affix it to the panel but uh yeah nothing much trouble than it's worth <laughs> right <laughs> if i was gonna do that i just get an industrial <laughs> i don't know if i'd do an industrial with that little ceiling but <laughs> yeah maybe in a hampton bayish type or even then it's like yeah i'd probably do something with plastic blades or wood blades not metal blades yeah something light like my little blue lasco yeah maybe something like that <laughs> It might be light to tell me the, the vents definitely look light taxi. Yeah, the I know. Vents. Yeah. Yeah, because it's actually just like I had a white one like this. I like, remember that, yeah. That I gave to Rock and Reed, and then. Uh, um, it might be the same model, you think? Or? It could be, yeah, yeah. It's just so many companies did stuff like this back then, so it's like. Yeah, <laughs> back in like the mid to late 80s. Uh, these are pretty ubiquitous. Especially in the 90s, though. They kind of had yeah, more five-bladed ones, yeah. but in the 90s, they had four-bladers, too. But, um, yeah, it's come to a complete stop. And, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos to come. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for more fan videos. Good night and good luck.